undocumented door in a recently purchased home, chances are it leads to the Rice property. If you happen to enter said door, which admittedly is an inadvisable course of action, you may find yourself in a closet that goes on for far too long. In the event this happens, do not back out of the closet. It is very rude to leave an event after having just arrived. You must now attend the event, or the hosts will become distressed. They will follow you back to your house and try to make up for hosting such a disappointing event. This outcome is undesirable. You must continue to walk the length of the closet before emerging into the master bedroom. You have now officially entered the Rice property. Do not look back or show any form of remorse or confusion at having arrived at the Rice property. Proceed swiftly but calmly to the reception area. The location of this area may vary, but it is usually towards the direction in which egg salad can be smelled. Please note that while the master bedroom is the main entrance to the Rice property, it is not a place you should linger in. You are not the master. You do not belong in the master bedroom. In the event a servant sees you in the master bedroom, smile widely and apologize. Tell the servant you took a wrong turn looking for the washroom. The servant will then direct you to the washroom. Thank the servant, walk backwards out of the master bedroom, and continue to the reception area. Please do not actually go to the washroom, as this is where the mold lives. In the event the master is present in the master bedroom, get down on your hands and knees, close your eyes, and count backwards from 500. There is an elevator and stairwell at the end of the corridor. The elevator travels at approximately 7,400 miles per hour, so it's better to take the stairs. Continue down the stairs until you arrive at the floor that smells the strongest of egg salad. It is important you arrive at the correct floor. If you believe you have arrived at the correct floor, go down one more floor to check if the smell is weakened. If so, return up to the correct floor. Please refrain from walking up more than one flight of stairs at a time. If this happens, the stairs may accidentally become infinite. If you choose the incorrect floor, you will be able to tell by the presence of a single door at the end of the corridor, behind which can be heard the sobs of a soft-voiced elderly male. There is a chance a viscous black liquid will be leaking from the bottom of the door. Avoiding contact with it is in your best interest. Return to the staircase and find the correct floor. After arriving at the correct floor, proceed to the reception area. The smell of egg salad should stop at this point. There will be a number of other guests present in the area. It is very important that you do not make eye contact with any of them. Some guests may attempt to initiate small talk with you. You may notice they appear to be speaking English but it is in a dialect too sophisticated for you to understand. If this happens, smile widely, but continue to avoid eye contact. Then, utter one to three sentences about any of the following subjects. Precious stones, fine wine, dragables, luxury cars, but only models released prior to 1950. After hearing you speak, the other guests will consider you to be an exotic foreigner and respectfully keep their distance from you. One or two guests may try to take small samples of your hair. This is normal. Let them. You may have noticed the music being played at this event 
is excruciatingly loud. Do not show any visible discomfort. A servant will likely be circulating the crowd with a platter of hors d'oeuvres. Make sure you obtain one, as this will be your only chance to do so. Hold on to your hors d'oeuvre, but be sure not to eat it. This should already be a no-brainer, due to the food looking like television static. At some point, the master will appear at the top of the balcony overlooking the grand foyer. The guests will be distracted. This is your chance to leave through the main double doors behind you. If the master notices you leaving, he will ask very loudly where you are going, drawing the attention of all the guests towards you. Should this happen, remove your hors d'oeuvres from its china plate and smash the plate as hard as you can against the marble floor. This will distract the guests long enough for you to leave unnoticed, but it should only be used as a last resort. After exiting the mansion, you will now find yourself on the grounds. You will notice that even though you are outdoors, the sky is not visible, since you are surrounded by the towers of the mansion, which stretch into the clouds towards a vanishing point. Do not look up at the mansion, as your sense of gravity might become inverted. You will likely see several birds strutting around the lawn. They represent peacocks, but are a far more exquisite breed. Avoid touching these exotic peacocks. Their feathers are coated in a deadly neurotoxin. Continuing into the gardens, be sure to stay on the path and not look at the flowers, as there is a small risk they might make you blind. You will arrive at the entrance of a hedge maze, the hedges of which can be anywhere from 30 to 500 feet tall. There will be several flower boxes lining the path. At this point, a thin, moist man with black arms will emerge from behind one of the boxes. This is the Toad Man, and he is your only chance of leaving the event. The Toad Man will ask to see your invitation to be sure you have not arrived at the event uninvited. Give the Toad Man your hors d'oeuvre from earlier. Since he is constantly malnourished, he is easy to bribe. The Toad Man will thank you for the food and lead you into the maze. It is crucial that you do not lose the Toad Man at this point or you will become lost forever. Once you reach the center of the maze, the Toad Man will show you a small koi pond. This is the way out. Thank the toad man before quickly and quietly submerging yourself into the pond. You will emerge into the body of water nearest to your house. From there, you are free to walk home. After arriving back at your house, you will find that the door you came through has reverted to a normal closet. A shining silver envelope will be placed on the floor of the closet. This is a party favor from the master himself. Hang on to it, but do not open it. If you received a gold envelope, burn it. If you received no envelope, run. At first, I thought I was the only one who had been to the Rice property. In fact, I wasn't sure if it had really happened at all. But thanks to various online forums, I was able to find others like me. Others who attended an event and lived to tell the tale. Through their collective experiences, I was able to compile this guide for any unsuspecting party goer who finds themselves at the Rice property. Now, I can hear you asking, why do I speak so lightly of these events? Events that sound anything but, it's because there is one more rule you should know. If you speak ill of your experience at the Rice property, in speech or in texts, the hosts will hear you. No matter where you are, and no matter how long it has been since the events you attended, they will become very upset that you have the gall to come uninvited to one of their events and spit on it afterwards. 
they will want to return the favor. At the next celebration you attend, they will be there. I am writing this very quickly because I don't know when I'll get another chance. I slipped up today. I broke the final rule. I told my wife we need to board up that closet, that I don't want my beautiful daughter accidentally ending up in such a horrible place. I know they heard me call it that. My daughter's birthday is tomorrow. She's going to be 10. We're pretty well off, so she's going to have a big party. All her friends are going to be here. It breaks my heart to know I won't be able to see my baby girl on her birthday. That I won't be able to set the cake down in front of her and smile as she blows out the candles. Not tomorrow and not ever again. Not if I want them to show up. I won't be able to kiss my wife on our anniversary or on New Year's. I won't be able to sing Christmas songs around a sparkling colorful tree. I'll live in constant fear of walking into a surprise party, of accidentally standing too close to my neighbor's house during one of his barbecues. But as long as I'm careful, as long as I keep my distance from anything that vaguely resembles a celebration, I'll be safe. The people I love will be safe for now. If you happen to find an undocumented door in a recently purchased home, don't fucking 